Well, we're in for a sweet treat, and today we are visiting Frankenmuth of Fudge and Kitchen, and joining me now is Chris. He is one of the fudge makers. You're the head of fudge production, correct? That's correct. All right. Well, Chris, tell us a little bit about Frankenmuth Fudge. Uh, I hear it's one of the best places to get some fudge. It's one of the best in the country, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, we've been doing it for 60 years. This is actually our 60th anniversary of the company. Oh my. Yeah, so I haven't been doing it that long. Just six and a half for me, so I'm just a drop in the bucket of that 60 years. But we've been in Frankenmuth since the uh, early 70s, but we've been up in the Sioux since the 60s. So. Oh my. So what is it about fudge that people want to keep coming to get it? It's just something that people love. I think they associate it with uh, Mackinac, and then it's just something sweet that's different and it's just a very Michigan thing. Yeah, well how many types of fudge do you have in here? I'm overwhelmed by looking at it. Uh, we have over hundreds of varieties that we can have, but in the showcase at one time, it's about 36. 36? 36, they swap out seasonally, so we have a bunch that we can pull from and we're always doing new flavors. Yeah, that's a lot of work for you all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, talk about, you know, what it's like for you guys when people come in and they're drawn to those 36 different varieties that you have. Well, it's kind of a shock when they first come in, they don't know where to look. We even have little recipe cards that we started this year that actually has helped people somewhat, but we always have to tell them, showcases repeat, don't be afraid to ask questions, don't be afraid to ask for a sample. Oh, wow. Well, you said you've been doing this for six years. What is something that you learned about fudge that you didn't know before you started? I didn't, that I didn't know how finicky it can be. Oh. It's, it's very hard to make, and once you get it down, you've mastered something. <laughs> But until that point, you have a lot of headaches. Well, okay. I guess that's with anything, right? <laughs> All righty. Well, can we make some fudge? Yeah, we can make some fudge. All right. What's your favorite to make? My favorite to make is probably the turtle. Oh, why is that? I just the caramel, the pecans in there. Just a fun one to make. A lot to do, and a lot of questions are asked when I'm making it. <laughs> awesome. And which one here is the most popular? Uh, plain chocolate, believe it or not. Yeah. When people think fudge, they usually go to chocolates. The, all those aunts and grandmas of the world that have made fudge for people, I think it's gravitate towards that chocolate batch. Yeah, yeah for sure. Sometimes you just got to keep things very simple. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, you want to show us how the process goes and what you're going to be making? I'll be making some maple fudge. Ooh. All right. Just in time for fall, a good maple flavor. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see that in just a moment. <laughs> 